Hi everyone. It's a Saturday. I hope you're having a great weekend. I want to scratch a few tickets. I don't know which one. So that's what my video is today. Which tickets to scratch? I went around the other day looking for certain tickets and I couldn't find them. And I went to one store. They were closed down remodeling. I went to another store and they didn't have hardly any tickets. They said, well, our order hasn't come in. I'm like, okay, well, I just kept going everywhere. So I went back to one of the first gas stations I ever bought a ticket at. And I had gone in there because they had good chicken salad. <laughs> and so they also have um, a good sub, a Cuban sub. But anyway, and they used to have the cheapest gas, but off and on, maybe, you know, you have to watch the prices. It's between their station and another station. So anyway, I stopped in there because I was kind of fed up after I couldn't get into Publix because they were closed to remodel. And I asked them, I said, do you have the $5 Lotteria? And they go, yes, we have it. And I said, but I don't see it. And she told me where it was on the display. And I said, oh, the tickets on the roll above it have fallen down over it, so you can't see it. I said, so give me two of those. So we got two of those to play. And I didn't play the Million Dollar Luck before, so I got one of those to play. And you know I like the $2 Lotteria. So I got 10 of those to play. Do you know what I noticed? Every five tickets, it alternates. So whatever your card board is, every fifth, every six ticket I guess so there's five tickets and then it'll change over again so as you see on these two you have the same board of course you're gonna have different places at the bottom to scratch so this is 137 and 142 and they have the same board and this one is 138 and 143 and they have the same board so anyway, I thought it would be easier to play them that way <laughs> That way I don't miss them, I hope, <laughs> because you get used to looking for them in the same place. But then if you switch to a different board, it's in a different place or you don't have it at all. So anyway, I thought that was a better way. You know, I'm an older person. I need all the help I can get. So finding the same, isn't that what they do in bingo? <laughs> so if you have the same card, it's easier to play. But who would want the same card in bingo? Don't you have better chance if you get two different cards? Unless you're looking for a double bingo, if you had the big one. Okay. <clears throat> I also have a Monopoly. I got a Gold Rush, $5. Cash Word, I got another one of those. That's the $10 one. $10,000 a week for life. I got one of those because I like playing those too. And a Cash Blast. So I'm just going to pick it random. Some tickets that I want to play. Oh, and I have my big scratcher. <laughs> Why don't you leave in the comments which branch of service you served under? <clears throat> I was in the U.S. Army. <laughs> so was my husband. So was my father. So was my stepfather. And I have two brothers that were in the Navy. And I have a cousin that was in the Air Force. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with at least one of these. I have ticket number three and four. Which one do you think would be the lucky ticket? I don't know. Let's do three. We'll do four another time. And for this one, I have number 17. Let's hope that's a lucky number. Now the lottery. I like that rose on there. Let's start with 137 and 142. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully some something nice. Maybe a symbol. Let me get zoomed in. If I put these together, maybe I can see it. <clears throat> this old table has a gouge on it. I don't even know how that happened. So 
So I'm going to judge with that to see if I can get my tickets in the right place. At least that mark doesn't move. So that kind of works. Hope everybody's doing good. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I know there's a lot of drama going on right now. What I would like to do with my channel, I know we have to have more content. They think that scratching tickets is thin content. But what they don't realize <clears throat> is every time we buy a ticket, we spend money. And that money, some of it is donated to help the elderly in some states and in Florida help high school students go to college. I mean, that's not thin content, that's great. But I can also do other things. <laughs> but let's get the first ticket scratched and I'll share with you some of my ideas. I don't really know how to play this one yet. I haven't done it before. It says win up to 12 times, get a horseshoe symbol, win the prize shown for that symbol automatically, and get, I can't even tell what symbol that is. It looks like, oh, it must be a clover. Yeah, a four leaf clover. Get a four leaf clover symbol, win five times the prize shown for that symbol, and get a money pop symbol, and get all 12 prizes. That would be a good one. Let's look for that symbol. Let's see what we have. That's music. Music notes. What's that? Gold nugget? A key? A safe? These are pearls. I could use some pearls. Um, briefcase? A diamond. Every girl wants a diamond. Uh, what's that? A wallet? A bankroll. A check. Oh, you could give me a sign check. <laughs> I could spend it. A chest. And a ring. Of course, back to the diamond ring. I don't see anything that's a winner on that. So that's no. But that's the first time I've played it. That was fun. And that's the million dollar luck, which I didn't have today. Okay, let's try this one. I'm not sure. I might have to readjust my camera here. Yeah, it's kind of big, isn't it? It's a big ticket. I think that works right there. I just hope you can see it. I'll talk you through it. Okay, so it says scratch the collar cards and the one bonus collar card. To reveal 15 lottery symbols, scratch the corresponding symbols on the playing boards match that match the color cards. So what we're looking to do is match four symbols in a complete row, horizontal or vertical, to win that prize. If you complete a horizontal or a vertical line using the bonus color card, you win double the prize shown for that line. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see. And these are different symbols, too. So we have a frog and a scorpion. I do see the frog. I don't see the scorpion. The rooster and the bell. Where do we have the rooster? There he is. And the bell. And another rooster. Oh, the fish and the hand. I don't 
don't see the fish. Don't see the hand. The parrot and the palm. We do have the palm right there. I really think these pictures are a little smaller than the other ones. This is the parrot. And we have two parrots. Take a look at the sizes. Yeah, they are smaller. That's harder for me to see. I hope you're able to see them. And I'm going to need your eyes to help me out. Let's see if I bring it down a little. If it, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll just move it over a little. Okay, well, move it a little bit, but we'll try to figure this out. The rose, and I can't even tell what that is. The heron? Yes. Okay, I do see the heron. They put some strange shapes in here. Where's that rose? I always like the rose. Did we not? Oh, yes, we did at the bottom. Okay, so we had a rose. Arrows and the drum. I saw the arrows, but not the drum. Okay. The boot. And is that the mandolin? Well, I just don't see those. Well, the first time playing it, it wasn't that much fun. I'll have to get a magnifying glass so I can see them. Maybe if I hold them up underneath the phone, I can see them better. <laughs> Do you see anything I missed? Well, I know I'm terrible at this. I didn't get my regular ones. I usually get Okay, we do have a bonus one. I almost forgot. I have to scratch it. But it doesn't look like we're close to finishing anything. And it's the lady. We do have the lady. But she didn't complete the row. So it didn't really help. Did you see anything I missed? No, well, ticket number three. Nope, not a good one today. Now we have these two, and we have the same board. So let's start with 137. Okay. Get underneath my camera. Cello and the parrot. So you can see the cello right there. And I do not see the parrot. So let's see what else we have. We have 
the umbrella and the rooster. I see the rooster. And the umbrella. Okay, so we have both of those. Let's see what else. We have the deer, the bell, the ladder, and the hand. Let's see if we find them. I don't see the deer. I don't see the bell. I don't, oh I do. I see the hand and the ladder. Two in one row, that's a good one. <laughs> Now if we can find the tree for 400, that would be nice. All right, let's see what else we're gonna uncover. The sun and the drum, the canoe and the world. Okay, the sun, yes. The drum, yes. I'd rather be down on the bottom. The canoe, no. The world, yes. There's that tree standing in my way. I could get $10 plus 400. <laughs> you think that tree is gonna come up? No, I wish. Okay, the pic picture and the boot. Okay, I do have the boot. There's the boot. And that's it. Do you see anything I missed? I don't think I missed anything. But we came close. That was exciting. That would have been nice. I would take the $410. <laughs> okay, now we have the same, the same playing board. So we just gotta find out what we have at the bottom. <laughs> we have the flower pot and the star, the ladder and the frog. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's see the ladder. I do not see a star. Nothing here. There's the flower pot. And no frog. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Umbrella, parrot, the hand, and the world. Okay. Umbrella, yes. The world, yes. The parrot, no. The hand, yes. Okay, back to the calling cards. What do we have? A drum and a sun. A canoe. And the fish, the stinky fish. I know I got that one. There he is. Okay, the canoe, no. The sun, yes. Just need that crown for a hundred dollars. Um, drum, we do have the drum. Okay, last two, let's see what we get. The boot and the mermaid. <laughs> I got the boot. I got the mermaid. But I don't think we finished anything. We needed the musician for the 30,000. 
We needed the rooster for 200 or the crown for 100. That would have been nice. Well, thanks for watching. I had some ideas about doing some content for my channel since YouTube thinks scratching tickets is thin content, I think is the way they put it. It has no service to people is the way they're describing it. We do service and we do help people and it is entertaining and we do enjoy doing it. So I don't think it's really fair what they're doing. So I'm going to concentrate on some things that I've worked on for years. And one of those things is genealogy. I am retired now, so I have more time to spend on my genealogy. If you study genealogy, it's more than just learning about your family, your DNA, your genes. You learn about the struggles they went through. You learn about the travels they had. You learn about the cities they lived in. There is so much to learn that once you get started, it just controls you. <laughs> you want to know more and more. I know some people say, oh, you're bitten by the bug. Well, I am, I know it, and others could be. And you know, you could turn it off. You could say, oh, I just wanna know what city they lived in. And you can look it up. I can tell you uh, what cities they were in and, and what census they were on, what tax records they're on. There's all kinds. There's church records. There's many different records to look up to find your ancestors and see how they traveled, where they traveled. A lot of people came from the UK area. Some of my ancestors are from London. So they had long travels. Uh, some of my husband's ancestors came through Russia and Canada before they came to the US. I also have some that came up from Africa through Italy <laughs> up to the UK and then across. I have a lot from Ireland. So if you learn your history and you see what they've been through, you kind of get an idea of what life is really all about. And we have it easy. Although we do struggle sometimes, when you look back at what they had to deal with, it was really hard for them. And I wouldn't wish that on anyone I know because I have looked back and seen how hard life was. We don't wanna go back to that time. But do you know, it could happen. If we have a worldwide disaster, it really could hurt our economy and everything that we're used to. So when you look back at how we have developed as a world, I mean, it's amazing. And I love it that people have these ideas and they actually go through with creating something that helps someone and I know that technology is always replacing everything, but just for them to have the guts to come forward and say, I think I could help a little bit. Why aren't we encouraging young people to do that? Why don't we have a way to actually help them develop things? It's just amazing what can be done. But anyway, that's one of my thoughts for my channel. Another one, was the VA services. And I know that Andrew posted today that he's gonna concentrate on that and I'm happy he's back and that's great. But I will tell you, I have dealt with these services for many, many years and it is not easy to figure them all out. And when you move, every location is different. Just because you registered in one state or even within that state, if you move, you're gonna be considered to be in a different district. You're back to square one. You have to sign up. It has to go through that district office. You have to be approved and it takes forever. And before you know it, you move around a few times and you're gonna have six different accounts with the VA. 
That makes no sense to me. Why can't we have one account? We had one number. We were one person. We were accounted for when we were in the military. But now you're kind of treated like an outsider and nobody really cares until you step up and say, I'm interested in a service then they have to stop what they're doing and take five minutes to work with you. But if you don't already know some of the things about that service and what is supposed to take place, it sometimes doesn't happen. For instance, we moved and I went to the VA office with my husband. We both took all our documents and we only moved two hours down the road. And can you believe it put us in a different district? We turned in our documents, we proved who we were, we had our DD-214, we filled out all the paperwork, and we left. And they said, we will call you and schedule your first appointment with the doctor. Well, my husband got his call, but I didn't. So I kept waiting, and then I called, and I said, can you tell me why haven't I received my call? Well, we don't have anything on you. I said, but you don't understand, we took off. We took a day off from work. We took a PTO day, both of us. We were both working at that time. We went to your office and we had to drive two hours to get there because it wasn't really convenient for us. We moved two hours down the road, left an office to have to now travel two hours in a different direction to a different office, and now you don't have my paperwork. Come to find out, they had an employee change, and during that time, the person who was working there was a young man, and he was processing the paperwork, and I explained to him, we're both veterans, we're both entitled to a service, and these are two separate accounts. He threw my paperwork away. He said, spouses don't have service. And that's what he told the other employee that was working there because I kept calling and finally the lady that used to work there who was laid off from her job so this gentleman could have her job because they were just restarting this office he took it upon himself to throw my paperwork away and told some another employee so when this girl that originally worked there came back and I spoke to her on like my sixth phone call she said when she asked around in the office because she wasn't working there during the time I came in, she had been laid off. She found out the story and so she said I would have to come in and reapply. I never did. So I didn't get the services I was entitled to. Well, the office I had gone to, I needed to be seen and there was a time where the RN checked my account. And when she did it, I'm not saying who did it, somebody pushed a wrong button, I was charged for a visit. I don't even live there. We had then moved to Florida, and this was in Georgia. So I had a right for a year telling them I wasn't seen on that day, could they remove that charge? It took forever. And I don't know if it was removed or not, because like I said, when you move to a different district, it's a different location and they have different offices handling all the billing. So anyway, I can share with you some things that you need to know for this location. I will say I have been treated very well here. We have a VA clinic, it's at the Naval base, that kind of surprised me. But sometimes I have to go to the Air Force base to have certain tests done. So anyway, uh, sometimes I have to travel to Pensacola for some of our services. So you see, it's not easy. And the district office we have in Florida is actually in Biloxi, Mississippi. So if you could figure all that out, you're doing great. And if you want to call someone on the phone, you won't get them. You got to wait for them to call you back. And believe me, you're not at the top of their list. So. I will share with you <laughs> some shortcuts on what to do and how to do it and you have to stay on the ball because if you sit back and wait you won't be seen and the first VA clinic I was seen at was in Phoenix Arizona and if you know the story about Phoenix you literally died before you saw the doctor and that's the truth it's been proven but 
Anyway, I, I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you'll stay with my channel. I know YouTube is making us change things and go in different directions. And I'm going to try to do it, but I'm still going to scratch my tickets too. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.